Did you know that you can support and even enhance your energy just by following the phases of the moon? Well, I'll share with you some of these tips and the three most important things you should know about full moons. Growing up, I always felt a little different. I always had really intense emotions. These feelings were really profound and I felt like other people didn't have the same experiences as me. So as I started to learn more about astrology, I became really validated in who I am. Some of this is due to sign placements, but the other part of this is that I was born during a full moon. So the thing about full moons is that they are a very powerful time. So the first most important thing to know about a full moon is that this is a time of culmination. This is a time when projects really start to move out. So it brings with it a lot of energy. The light of the moon actually implies how much energy that we have. Think about it. Look at the animals or children, you know, your pets. They tend to get a little more active around a full moon. And the reason for this is because this is the time of the moon phase when things really need to be done and brought out into the world. This is a time when procreation can actually happen and that's why the animals tend to be more excited. So since this is a time of culmination, it means it's a time to bring your projects out into the world. And the moon is very much associated with the emotional state of a person. So this is also a time when you get to reflect because think about the energy of the moon and what the moon does. It reflects the light of the sun. So when there is a full moon, it means that reflection time is also very high. This means that it is the perfect time for you to clear and let go of something. So not only can you bring something out into the world, but the second most important factor about full moons is that this is a time for you to let go. You can release something. You can get rid of a bad habit. And sometimes when people get really highly emotional around this time, it's because it's bringing up something that is ready to be released. So on full moons, it's so important to set an intention to let something go. Now, full moons also bring intensity. You know that phrase, full moon madness? Well, it is a real thing. The moon in a lot of the romance languages is something around Luna, right? So Luna is very much tied to the English word lunacy. Now lunacy is madness and it does stem from the moon. So because the energy and the emotions are really high, it is a very important time to navigate the realm of the emotions. And the third most important factor you should know about a full moon is that it's important not to stare at the full moon. It was really studied and looked at that people who stare at a full moon get emotionally imbalanced. So even though it's beautiful and bright and amazing, it's actually best practice to minimally look at that full moon because it does tend to imbalance the emotions. When you stare too much into that full moon, you may find yourself either that evening or the next day or two feeling a little bit edgy or a little bit raw. So these are the three most important things you should know about a full moon. And if you'd like to learn more, sign up for my newsletter. I send out regularly weekly emails and you can also stay up to date with my full moon events. And remember to subscribe.